So, Dr. Gardner, once we make the diagnosis of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, that you know the patient is going to need treatment, how do you approach the patient? How do you treat these patients? Mm -hmm. Great question. So, the hallmark of treating exocrine pancreatic insufficiency is to replace the enzymes that the pancreas isn't making. Fortunately, we have uh, enzymes that are oral that allow the body to help absorb its food without having to rely on the pancreas to make those enzymes. And those are the hallmark of treating exocrine pancreas insufficiency, pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy. And patients have to take a certain amount depending on how sick their pancreas is. For some patients, it's not too many pills. For others, it's more pills. But that is really the way that we treat the malabsorptive problems from pancreatic excrement insufficiency. We also have to replace vitamins, minerals that potentially patients are deficient in. So we can also give oral medications to help replace those deficiencies that they have. And then we also tell patients certain dietary uh, restrictions and modifications to prevent them from malabsorbing. For example, patients with exocrine pancreatic insufficiency oftentimes have a hard time digesting fatty foods. So we tell patients really try to avoid, not eliminate, but try to avoid those fatty foods as much as they can. And typically, if we can do that, if we can have them replace their enzymes with pancreatic replacement therapy, avoid certain foods, especially fatty foods, and replace their vitamin and mineral deficiencies, patients do really well, and their nutritional status can be maintained. Yeah, I, I totally agree. The other issue that I like to bring up with the patients, it's how important it is to mix the food that they're taking with the enzyme. Mm. What do I mean by that? It's important to take the enzymes together with the food. And that's a question or a problem that I sometimes see in the office. Yes, I'm taking the enzymes, but you're not taking the enzymes together with the food, with the meal. Very, very important. And something that I hear from my patients is that they have learned over time that when they're going out to a restaurant, when they're eating more of a fatty meal, that they can take an extra enzyme together with the meal or the big meal to prevent the symptoms of malabsorption. So this is something I think that with time, once the patient starts to feel more comfortable, they start to play with the regimen and they can prevent some of the negative symptoms of exocrine insufficiency by playing with the amount of enzymes that they're taking. That's absolutely right. And there are many different types of enzymes that patients can, can try. So it's, it's important if a patient is having a hard time with a certain enzyme product, they can switch to another enzyme product. And again, adjusting the dosages I think is absolutely correct. My patients get very good adjusting how many of the enzymes or what type of enzymes they're taking depending on what they're eating.